Airport headed to Seattle today for our Alaskan cruise. Now stepping foot in Alaska in Ketchikan. You're in the Tongass National Forest. We really are going through the fog now. Uh, can't see anything now. <laughs> and now Robert used to be a gold mine called AJ. Some nice. Especially with you, not when you travel. Especially, I was about to say the same thing. We got less than 20 minutes to get to our bus, or else we're stranded. We're gonna go straight into this fog. It looks so thick, can't even see right through it. Amazing view though. Blowing the horns, I guess, to warn other ships or boats nearby that were coming through. How cold is it right now? What? 40? 40. 40? 40. 40? Yeah, I think so. Jeez, 40 degrees Fahrenheit? That feels like. <laughs> this ain't no Floridian weather. But look, look how thick this fog is. You can even see through it to see the mountains on the other side. Look at that. Now we're slowly being surrounded by it. So, so mystical. Oh wow, we really are going through the fog now. Look at that. Yep, we're almost deep in it now. It's something you don't really get to see in the day to day. Wow. Well, maybe day to day up here. <laughs> yeah, up here, yeah. But talk oh, about yeah. in the lower 48 states, especially down in Florida. What? There down it is. So right now, you can see that <laughs> our feet is almost completely covered. That is neat. And it's thick. Look at that. And like you can see over there, some mountains in the distance of the fog. Isn't yeah. It? It's a very low, low fog. You can barely see the water now. It's like we're, we're floating up in the sky. Isn't that weird? Now, look how thick it is. Can't see anything now. <laughs> no mountains, no water. <laughs> That's how thick it is. Maybe a little bit of water. Going straight down. But if you look out, hardly see. Maybe you can see like a slight outline of some of the uh, coasts and mountains. Crazy. Later that day, we're taking a blue bus oh, to where we're going. Right here, we are starting off the at the bottom of Mount Roberts. Glacier is and Mount Roberts used to be a gold Genu mine called Alaska. AJ. There's over a few more inches of snowfall a year. But if we hadn't had enough snow, we don't get enough rain. Then our creeks and our streams don't rise. And if that happens, then we lose our salmon runs. Now, a salmon can smell their fresh water for miles out in that salt water. That's how they find their way home. So no water coming out of the creeks or the streams, the salmon get lost, they're not able to spawn, and they die without starting their cycle all over again. Just got off the bus, and we just are walking towards the glacier. All right, we're going to this observation deck. Uh, I can get a better view from up here. And take a look at that. I don't know if the, the camera does it justice. Because my phone's pretty old, but that's the glacier. We're probably gonna move around and just see chunks of ice floating. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's just such a beautiful, beautiful scene, beautiful landscape. All right, I'm gonna try to find another better position to get a better recording, a slightly better angle. See if I can zoom in. Look at that. That's so cool. I think that's a live feed. Some nearby salmon. That's cool. There's the waterfall. And then there's a closer view of the glacier. And then if I zoom out, 
Small chunks of ice floating. Look at that. <laughs> floating chunks of ice. Now we're closer down to the ground here. And then let me turn around. There's people passing ice, chunks of ice around. Look at that. So nice. The guy who got it. Her. It handed to her. So you took uh, my camera. You take my camera. Oh, the guy who got it walked yeah. into the woods. No, no. Oh, probably too, too strong of a scent. <laughs> <laughs> I can't bring that out. No, it may be drunk. <laughs> they get the feeling good and taking it out. I'm less worried about getting drunk than attracting a bear. Feel the moss. Soft. Oh, yeah. It's really soft. Yeah, it's like a sponge. How do you feel the moss? Right here. Oh, we felt that yesterday. Yeah, is that cool? Yeah. We felt it's that in the like rainforest. Sponge, right? Yeah. We felt it yesterday. Uh, Sounds like you guys, you guys had a great hike yesterday, huh? Yeah. It was really cool. Yeah. Oh, we think you're doing as much as you can. I know, right? <laughs> Especially with global warming, right? It's probably going to melt that glacier in a few years. It's a race against time to get to the waterfall before our bus arrives. I never thought I would be all the way up here with my bed. You ever thought no. we would be doing this? No. Especially Especially with you, not wanting no. to travel. Especially, I was about to say the same thing, especially with you, <laughs> hiking. This is my thing. Oh, sure it is. In the sure. cool weather, not uh -huh. in the freaking 90 degrees sure. outside. Uh, this is perfect. Because you do that all the time in Florida, right? <laughs> and flip flops all the way to the mall. I probably should have worn <laughs> sneakers. <laughs> oh, a mouse. You saw that? It's a field mouse. It just crossed. Look at that. We're approaching the mountain. It's so quiet, peaceful. Very, very tranquil. Even though the place is filled with tourists, but still. Very, very peaceful. We counted this small little river stream halfway through the path to the waterfall. Very beautiful. Romeo, the spirit of Janus Friendly's black wolf, lives on this wild place. Hmm. We're almost there. Check this out, guys. I think we're gonna put those birds. All right. When you get up close to the waterfall, you really do feel how how strong that current is. You don't really, you know, get a sense of that when you're far away, but when you're close to it, you really feel like the power, how how um, aggressive that water is falling. So you hear all the local tourists, all the tourists taking pictures, small little chunks of ice. In the background. This is really cool. When you guys come here, make sure you have ample time because the trail takes 45 minutes uh, round trip to walk from where the bus drops you off to walking all the way to this particular viewpoint of a waterfall. Look at this. Isn't this cool? This is so cool. From this angle, you don't really see much of the glacier. But you do see some of the smaller chunks of ice floating. But still, this, this trip is worthwhile. I think we ended up paying $45 to get the bus ride here uh, from the, the port. $45 per person. I think it's, it's worth it. It's so beautiful and such a unique experience. Last minute video before we have to hightail it out of here. We have less than 20 minutes to get to our bus. 
or else we're stranded. As you can see, you don't really get much of a view of the glacier when you're right next to the waterfall, but it's still pretty cool. It's pretty much the view you're gonna get. You probably get a slightly better view if you walk a few feet that way, but you know, I don't, I don't have time to show you guys. Just have to get going. Glacier. It was cool. Yeah, I like it. Oh, look at the view from right here. That's even pretty too. So this trip was with a thumbs up. Would you guys recommend this? Brothers do definitely do. And see? Absolutely. Absolutely. I have to say the pictures don't do it justice. I, yeah, I agree with you. You definitely have to be here to experience it firsthand. You know? Yeah, pictures don't. Especially that waterfall. Oh my yeah. god. Glad we took the risk and actually went there to see it.